had asthma since I was about 14. Um, it was treated as regular asthma at that stage, not particularly limiting, although when I did strenuous exercise, it did limit me. Um, and probably about eight years ago, I started noticing a decline in my lung function. I was really struggling with it, with um, prolonged periods of exercise. And I've gone through loads and loads of tests and it's been found that I've got quite a rare phenotype of asthma called neutrophilic asthma. Over the course of the last probably eight years, I've had preventers of different types from different categories of drugs. I've had medic uh, tablets, antibiotics, long-term, theophylline, long-term. I've had a whole host of medication added in. Um, I've also had the addition of an nebulizer for maintenance therapy and also to treat myself if I have a real acute problem at home to try and prevent me going to casualty. I have been pulled up on this by my consultant and my GP that I've got a very, very high threshold for seeking help and so I manage myself at home. I have the medications that I need to do that at home um, and so I am really reluctant to go to hospital because A, nobody, I don't think anybody likes being in hospital, B, it's time consuming and if I feel I can do it at home I don't like to bother other people. Self-care is vital to me as it would be to anybody with a long-term condition so I always make sure I attend my um, long-term condition management reviews. I attend my hospital appointments with my consultant and follow-up appointments there. I always have my flu vaccination at the very beginning of the flu system, at flu season. I've also had my pneumonia vaccine which now will last me for life. Um, I take my medications on time as prescribed and I monitor my symptoms and my, my condition. Planning is absolutely vital to me so I plan what I'm going to do during the course of the day so that I'm not limited in what I am actually able to carry out towards the end of a day. I would always encourage people to take the medication. It's vital to do that and I speak from experience of somebody who has possibly not been terribly well managed at the beginning of the condition which has possibly led to me having asthma as bad as I now have and I find that hugely frustrating and very limiting because in my mind I'm absolutely wonder woman I can do everything but unfortunately in my lungs I really can't do to the point that I have to think through everything I do even to, down to bending to pick something off the floor I am human. I do sometimes like to try and deny that I have a long-term condition to the point I will sometimes deliberately miss my medication or because I'm absolutely exhausted. So I'm very grateful to have a partner who will support me and he makes sure that I take medication. Uh, if it wasn't for him, I may suffer more than I actually do. I have no idea at the moment how life limiting my condition is, but I cannot dwell on that. When I'm having a good day, I'm having an absolutely great day. It isn't as good as other people maybe, but for me, it means I can do so much more, which is why self-management is vital for me to keep on top of that, to maintain a positive outlook and just live for the moment because I don't know how this is going to affect me in the future.